What is going on guys? I'm Malvin and welcome to episode 21 of Liverpool Rebuild. Before we continue, I would like to mention that I'm really hoping to get 50 subscribers by the end of 2022. So I would really appreciate it if you guys can help me out and click on the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much in advance guys. So today we have the Champions League quarterfinal clash against Manchester City. You know, if you guys look at the, you know, if you look at the previous episodes and everything, I think I've been playing Manchester City a lot, but we can't seem to avoid them in any of the competition. Even last season, we actually got knocked out by Manchester City in the quarterfinal of the Champions League. So I really hope today we will be able to, you know, put on a good performance and finally get our revenge for last year's knockout against Manchester City. So, since uh, Friday's episode, we have actually played two games against uh, Arsenal in the FA Cup quarterfinal and Newcastle in the league. Alright, so the game against Arsenal. Okay, we won 2-0. Alright, the credit, I would say the man of the match was Alison Becker. He made seven saves to make sure that we remain in the game until we were able to score. So, Benjamin Sesko uh, finally got the opening at the 76th minute and at the 77th minute, two very fast goals. We scored two goals in two minutes. Harvey Elliott scored the winner and ensured that we goes to the FA Cup semi-final. If you look at the XG match, uh, match story, right? If you look at that, Arsenal were actually better than us throughout the game until before we scored our goal. So, like I said, credit have to go to Alison Becker. Ensure that we were in this game, you know, until we score the goal. All right, guys. So, and in the game against Newcastle, also the same thing. I rotated the team as well because if you look at our schedule later on, you know, we are going to be playing Manchester City twice and Manchester United twice in the next four games that we have. So, I need to make sure that, you know, everyone is, um, uh, you know, fit for all the matches that play we will have to do a lot of rotation we'll have to make sure that all of our you know first team players are up to the challenge so for this game right okay we basically control the game if you see all right uh newcastle actually opened the scoring pratesi scored on the 26th minute makoko went on to equalize after one minute so that was a very fast reply by us okay and it stayed one one at the end of the first half. Okay, so at the 71st minute, Fabio Cavalio gave us the lead. All right, uh, I brought in Nunes in the 60th minute and he scored the next two goals and basically um, confirmed our win. Makoko had a very good game. He was the man of the match. He had one goal and two assists in the game. It's really nice to see that he is finally playing, starting to play well, you see. So in the league, he actually had 10 goal contribution in 12 starts and 11 appearances from the bench. So in all competition, he have already scored 8 goals and 11 assists. So not a bad start, you know, for a 32 million signing, which is a very young player. He's only 20 years old. He still have a lot of potential. I just, I for now, I would really, you know, just hope for him to continue his good performance and develop to be a superstar in the future. That is what I'm looking for for him, you know. Okay, so, so the game today, let's get into it. So the team that I'm going to be fielding against Manchester City is going to be Allison in goal, Robertson, Wendai, Guardiola, Pedro Porro will be our back four, Tonali at the base of the midfield, Bellingham and Alexander Arnold in front of him, Fabio Cavalio on the left hand side, Elliot on the right, and Darwin Nunes as our lone striker. If you realize, we are missing Theo Hernandez and Luis Diaz. Yeah, Theo Hernandez is injured. He's currently injured with a twisted ankle and is expected to return in another two weeks. So I think he's going to be uh, missing all of the four games against the Manchester uh, side. And Luis Diaz also is currently injured for another one more month so i really hope that fabio cavalio and robertson will be you know able to come up with a good performance in the absence of theo hernandez and luis diaz so let's submit the team and get the clash going
Okay, so let's have a look at Manchester City's lineup. We are going to be playing in Anfield for this first leg. So I really hope we can take a home advantage and get a good win in, in the first match itself. They have Memphis Depay, you know, uh, Araujo. These are all their new signings. Other than that, it's, it's the regular Manchester City side that you will be, you know, looking to see in any of the match. I'm just going to skip this and just get into the game. Alright, so we have a throw-in in Manchester City half. Cavalio passing it to Tonali. Tonali tried to cross it to Nunes, but it is headed clear by Manchester City. Now, Haaland has the possession. He passed it to Ruben De Bruyne. <laughs> Ruben, sorry. Foden on the right wing. Is he going to look for a cross? Oh, he passed it to Bernardo Silva. Now, Joe Cancelo. David De Bruyne. Sorry, Kevin De Bruyne, not David De Bruyne. <laughs> okay, now we are going to launch a counter-attack. That was an awful pass by Cavalio looking for Davi Nunes. And the highlights continues. Manchester City is looking to play from the back. Bernardo Silva, Kevin De Bruyne, and now Erling Haaland. He's trying from outside the penalty box, but it was an easy save by Alisson. And the highlights just end. Alright, so Manchester City has a free kick. Nathan Ake, he's passing it all the way back to Edison. Ruben Diaz, can we press and force them to make any mistake can we get the possession back now Cancelo on the right hand side Cavalio he won the possession back and he passed it to Virgil van Dijk he's lumping it forward to Robertson okay now Robertson on the left hand side can he get a good cross in for Darwin Nunes oh no it went to Alexander Arnold now Cavalio with a chance and he scores our opener 20 minutes in and we are leading by one goal to nil. Great, great shot by Fabio Cavalio. You know, bottom corner and no chance for Edison. Look at the cross to Alexander Arnold. He passed it, you know, first touch pass to Cavalio and Cavalio scored an amazing goal for us. We are leading one nil in this match. All right, so we have a throw in now. Cavalio to Virgil van Dijk. Back to Robertson. Can he get a good cross in? He's looking for Tonali. Tonali lost the possession. And now Manchester City is going to look for to counter. But Virgil van Dijk intercept Foden's pass. And now Elliot is looking for Darwin Nunes. And he scores! Darwin Nunes scoring his 39th goal of the season. Wow. He has... A seriously exceptional season for us. I think he's going to outscore his first season goal tally. If I'm not mistaken, he scored 40 goals that season. And now, this is only this is only April. And he has already scored 40 goals. There's still a lot of matches to play. And I really hope he will be able to score at least 50 goals this season. Tonali. Alexander Arnold. We are going to have another one more chance. Pedro Poro. Back to Tonali. Pedro Poro, he's looking for Darwin Nunes, but I think Darwin Nunes is offside. That was a good cross in by Pedro Poro, but unfortunately, Darwin Nunes is offside. Yeah, the linesman had his, you know, he, he raised his flag. So it was confirmed that he was offside. You can see over here, yep. But we are actually playing a very, very good game tonight. It, it's really nice to see that the team is up to the challenge. You know, I was really worried that Fabio Cavalio and Robertson might not be able to, you know, uh, play as well as Luis Diaz and Theo Hernandez, but they have proved me wrong in the early stages of this game. So there's another seven more minutes left for the first half to end. Let's see if we can create one more chance and maybe extend the lead to 3-0. Okay, so we have a free kick over here. Tonali, he's trying from all the way there, but it was a great save by Edison and cleared by Nathan Ake to give us a corner. Can we do something from here? Robertson, he's looking for Darwin Nunes at the far post and Haaland headed it to concede another corner for us. Okay, now it's going to be Alexander Arnold from the left-hand side. He's looking for Jude Bellingham, but it is headed clear all the way to Alexander Arnold. He just let it go out for a throw-in. I'm not sure why he did that. He should have just, you know, 
you know, get the ball. There was a lot of our players in the penalty box, right? Try another cross in. Okay, so with that, we are ending our first half with the score two nil. Okay, look at the XG story. We are playing way, way, way better than Manchester City today. I really hope this will continue. I really hope this will continue at the second half. We can't afford, you know, to go to Etihad with a draw. You know, because we know Manchester City is not an easy team. You know, we really need to make sure that we have the upper hand here while playing in Anfield. All right, so we have another highlight, Cavalio on the left hand side. Okay, he got past his marker. Can he get a good cross in? He found Jude Bellingham and Alexander Arnold. Oh my God, he shot hits the post. That could have been a very very good goal, and you know, that would have give us a big advantage if he managed to score there. All right, so we are sixty minutes in. I'm gonna make uh, our first uh, sub. I think I'm going to bring out Bellingham for Ruben Neves. Okay, because uh, Bellingham is on a yellow card. So I'm I'm just afraid that, you know, we might end up, you know, he might end up getting sent off and then we goes on to lose this match. So I don't, wanna, I don't want that to happen. Manchester City has a free kick. Short free kick to Ruben Diaz. Now Rodrigo to Raujo. He's lumping it forward to Grealish. Grealish have the possession on the left hand side. He crossed it to Keta, but we headed it clear and Manchester City still have the possession. Now, Luis, he's lumping it forward back to Grealish, but headed clear by Pedro Poro. Nathan Ake got the possession back. Okay, they are trying to, you know, conjure an attack now. And Keta trying a shot from long range, but that was not close you know to even test Allison. all right so we are the 75 minutes mark right now so there's a lot of players that are tired i'm gonna bring out fabio cavallo for marcos leonardo okay david nunes is also tired but i think i'm gonna give him you know a little bit more meaning because he's a very very important player for us sandro tonali is also tired i'm gonna bring in yunos musa and I'm going to swap Yunus Musa and Ruben Neves. Ruben Neves can play as a defensive midfielder. Alexander Arnold is also tired. Robertson as well. And Pedro Poro. There's, there's, no, uh, there's no replacement for Pedro Poro. Uh, sorry, for Robertson. I think I'm going to bring up Pedro Poro for Kelvin Ramsey. Okay, four subs in. I'm going to keep one more subs in case of any emergency. You know, and then... As you can see, Darwin Nunes is also tired. So, I think I'll keep that sub for him. So, Manchester City has a throw-in in our half. Grealish with the ball. Now, Kevin De Bruyne. Elliot is putting a pressure on him. I really hope we can dispossess him. Now, the, the possession is with Lewis on the right-hand side. Robertson intercepted the pass. And Virgil van Dijk passing it all the way back to Ellison. Ellison lumping it forward to Musa. Elliot. Can we launch a counter-attack or attack here? Ruben Neves to Kelvin Ramsey. Ramsey is clear on the right-hand side. Nathan, okay, good tackle, but we still have the possession. Musa looking for Alexander Arnold and he scored. I'm not sure if that was an offside. I think maybe Davi Nunes was offside. So I'm not sure if the goal is going to be awarded. No, it is disallowed. Was Alexander Arnold offside as well? Oh yeah, Alexander was also, Trent was also offside over there. Okay, that could have been a, you know, a good advantage for us to go into the second leg. I think I'm going to bring out Darwin Nunes for Benjamin Sesko as our last sub. Another five more minutes left and we have a corner here. Let's see if Robertson can get in a good corner in. What is he doing? Is he trying to <laughs> waste time or what? Okay, Robertson. Okay, Virgil van Dijk. He hit the post and Sesco got the rebound. But I think he might be offside as well. That, oh, if this goal is disallowed as well, right? We have had three goals disallowed with an offside call. My goodness. 
that was so unlucky for Benjamin Sesko. He was that was a very close call, you see. My goodness. Okay, so now Nabi Keta won the possession in his box, and now they are looking to launch a counter attack. But we we actually intercept and Marcos Leonardo on the left hand side. He's looking for Musa. Musa is not marked, but the shot was blocked. He should have looked for a pass in instead of a shot shot over there. Now Nabri. Halan is through, but that was a great save by Allison. Virgil Wenda cleared the ball, and now Marcos Leonardo is running the ball forward. Can he look for a pass? But he's trying all the way back. He should have passed it to Harvey Elliott. He was not marked at all. That was a bad call by Marcos Leonardo. Look at that. You know, we have six shots on target, 1.56 XG. Manchester City only managed to have one shot on target. We have clearly, clearly the better team against Manchester City today. You know, the only only regret I have is that we couldn't take, you know, couldn't take the advantage of the great play that we had to score more goal, basically. I just hope that we don't regret it going into the second leg in Etihad. So guys, I will come back in for our second leg clash against Manchester City. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bad news, everyone. We lost to Manchester United 2-1 in our league's clash. All right, so Marcus Rashford actually scored the 51-minute goal and Ruben Neves equalized on the 56th minute. David Nunes missed a penalty. Oh, so that was the chance for us to go in front in this game. And Anthony Marshall ended up scoring a last-minute winner against us. So that ensured that Manchester United went back with three points against us. If you look at the game stats, right, we actually played a very good game. We had nine shots on target, 3.18 XG. But we were not clinical at all. So, yeah, we ended up losing it. Manchester City ended up winning their match. So that makes us, you know, five points in front of them and three points ahead of Manchester United but we have three games in hand you know I'm not sure why Manchester United are playing all these games so early on I'm not sure about that and I don't care as well I know that our main rival for this season is Manchester City okay we have another eight more games to go I really hope that we will be able to you know buck up and make sure that we don't choke up at the last minute like last season last season so we had five more games to go and we were at the top of the league and we ended up choking up and losing the league at the last minute so i really hope we don't do that but just keep that just keep that at the side first we are going for our second leg match against manchester city so this is the team that i'm going to be lining up Allison in goal robertson wendai guardiol and pedro poro on the back four Ketonali at the base of the midfield, Bellingham and Alexander Arnold in front of him, Fabio Cavalli on the left hand side, Harvey Elliott on the right, and Darwin Nunes as our main striker. All right, so Theo Hernandez and Luis Diaz has not um, has not recovered yet. Let me yeah because I forgot the Champions League usually have twelve subs in. Let's submit the team and get into the second leg against Manchester City. So we have a very early highlight here. Corner for Manchester City. Virgil Wenda actually had it clear, but Manchester City still has their possession. Can we dispossess them and launch a counter-attack here? I really hope they don't score an early goal here to tighten things up. Oh, that was so lucky. Hernandez almost scoring a goal by hitting a post. And it went out for a goal kick. So another highlight in Manchester City with a throw in. Two highlights and then all the two highlights started with Manchester City having the possession. Okay. Oh, Guardiola, good tackle by Haaland. But they still scores against us. Kevin De Bruyne scoring the first goal to make the aggregate score 2-1. That was a good tackle by Guardiola, but you know they still got the loose ball and yeah, that was a great pass by Sergi Nabri to find De Bruyne out there. De Bruyne was through unmarked. Yeah, who was this Pedro Poro? Just wasn't fast enough to get 
and block the Bruyne shot. We are one nil down early on, and now Manchester City has a free kick. Oh, they almost score a goal! Great clearance by Pedro Porro. Okay, things are not looking well for us. You know, Manchester City has been attacking since the start of the game. We should really, really stop them from scoring an equalizer. This is not looking good for us. At the 30 minute marks and look at Manchester City, they have eight shots on target. They are being relentless against us and we don't even have one shot on target against them today. I need to encourage the team and you know hopefully this can motivate them to at least at least get one shot on target, you know, in the first half here. Our front three has not been playing well. They are defending really well today. Blocking our front trees, you know, from even creating any chance. Okay, this is not going well at all for us in this in this second leg. Oh my god. I really hope we are not gonna choke up here. Look at this. We we didn't we didn't turn up at all. What happened there? My god, I think I'll I'm not gonna do any changes yet. I'm gonna let the second half to play in first because sometimes you know the shot of you know you are you know you are far pleased from the team can sometimes make the team to play better you know there's some changes there i'm gonna demand more really hope that we can you know turn things around in the second half All right so we have a throw in here pedro poro that was straight to a manchester city player i'm not sure who he was trying to look for and now Memphis the pie he is through can we can we please please oh they equalize now this is not good <laughs> oh no i need to make some changes now let the let the replace go you know look at that that was a great counter attacking by them we were caught off guard over there and great finish by Memphis the i i think ellison could have done better right over there one on one situation he should have at least stopped the goal from entering I think we will have to go to a 4-2-4. Four, four. Oh, this, this is not good at all today. Pedro Poro is gonna uh is gonna be changed by Benjamin Sesco. I'm bringing Benjamin Sesco and I'm playing both the players as an advance um advanced forward on attacking. I'm gonna change both of our winger as uh inverted winger on attack. Fabio Cavalio is also not having a good game at all. Guardiola is also on a 6.2. I'm going to bring out Guardiola for Joe Gomez. And hopefully we... Yeah, I'm going to make these two changes. I, I don't want to commit, you know, to a lot, uh, a, a lot of changes early on. And I think I'm going to drop down a bit. Yeah, they... Uh, you know, both the goals... I mean... The second goal of Memphis Depay, they actually catch us on a break. So I I want our defensive line to be a little bit lower so that we don't concede that unnecessary goal just now. I'm going to encourage the team. Okay, Manchester City has <laughs> another highlight. This is scaring me. Oh, no, no, no. Bellingham. Okay, he lumped it forward, cleared it, but all the way to a Manchester City player. We are now pressing them. I really hope Benjamin Sesco, no, back all the way to Edison. Alexander Arnold, oh, okay, the header from Darwin Nunes was intercepted by Lucas Hernandez and they are trying to play from the back now. Come on, Nabi Keta. Nabi Keta, he is going, no one, no one is stopping him and he tries from all the way there. He almost caused a goal. My goodness, what is going on here, man? None of our, you know, teammates are playing well at all. You know, it's like it's like I ha I'll have to change the whole team if I wanna if I wanna do something here. Okay, Darwin Nunes, can he try to shoot from range and he scores? Okay, we are now ahead ahead in the in the aggregate scores. You know, can we? defend well and make sure that we keep this lead right now so david nunes that was a good run you know he passed through two defenders and yeah unlucky for edison i think he actually had the 
had a touch on the ball but yeah he was not strong enough to stop the ball from going in now robertson kawalio robertson now he's looking for elliot headed clear but all the way to alexander anna now elliot had a shot but it was blocked by laporte and he is clearing it forward all the way to sergi nabri but robertson gets the loose ball passing it back all the way to ellison jo gomez now jude bellingham he's looking for fabio kawalio but ruben dias headed it clear all the way to robertson Kawalio okay Darwin is through can he score and he scores our second goal of the game and we have two goals lead we have reinstated our two goals lead and the aggregate scores is 2 to 4 okay we have really changed the tide of the game and we are playing well after the changes that I've made you know good call for <laughs> you know to to start playing the 4 2 and now i'm going to make some changes elliot is still on a 6.5 i'm bringing in makoko for him let's change makoko to be a inside forward on attack and then uh, bellingham is also not playing well i'm bringing in ruben neves for him and virgil van dijk is also on a 6.5 i'm not sure if i should bring magway here for him i think i will keep this one sub you know in case we will have to go for an extra time right then i will have to then at least i will have two subs left okay five more minutes for the regular time to end i'm going to encourage the team hopefully we can keep this lead in lead intact and get through to the semi final oh god another four more minutes left i think we are getting through yes davin nunes our hero for today He didn't start the second half, uh, first half well, but second half he turned around and scored two important goals for us. Now, Sergi Nabri, is he going to score? No, great save by Alisson. Okay, another one more minute left. I should have, you know, I should have asked them to, you know, time time wasting. But no, I think that won't be necessary. Ruben Neves, now Sesko is through. Can he scores our third goal? No. easy collect by edison that was a weak effort by benjamin sesco okay i think i think the highlight should just end now and give us the win please <laughs> all right we are through to the semi final of champions league let's have a look who are we going to play against if i'm not mistaken uh, barcelona was actually uh, leading the first leg against leipzig 3-0 yeah so i think if i'm not mistaken we are going to be facing barcelona for the semi final of the champions league let's have a look who are we facing yes we are playing against barcelona wow this is the first time that you know the the semi finals has been drawn you know to be so far from each other from the i think you know what in the first leg and the second leg to be far from it okay so i think um look uh, you know looking at the looking at the draw right so tomorrow we will be coming in for a barcelona's uh, semi final first leg and the game against manchester city in the league i know you know we have been playing manchester city a lot this season and the last season as well but you know manchester city are our direct competitor for the league if we can win against manchester city i think you know it should be enough for us to all go all the way and winning the league and then uh, on the on the episode after tomorrow okay it's going to be barcelona's uh, sem- uh, semi final second leg and then we will play whichever game that will confirm us the league if we are to win all right guys if you have enjoyed the episode today Please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.